Okay, what we're going to do is just quickly run through uh, applying the five pads to do the reciprocal EMG triggered stimulation. Okay, so two pads for extensors and looking for the bulk. And if the sober flux is going to come on top, so the leads are going to come out the side. So one, two, and then we need three underneath. One is the earth for the trigger, so for the EMG to work as the trigger. Come, and these are going to be on the, these are picking up the EMG of the long finger flexors. So we have one and two, and then we have an earth. Okay, and the earth can be anywhere. So find channel A, which is the stim. Okay, and then it doesn't matter whether you use blue or yellow because the current alternates. <coughs> and these are for channel B underneath. So black is your earth. And again, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then what I do is just before I put the flex on, I'm just going to check that I've got the correct position for the pads to get our extension. So I've turned the Maya Track Infinity on. I'm going to press start. I'm just going to go into stim mode. Just use a program. Choose the arm. I'm going to go for strength. Press start. And then obviously we tell our individual that they're going to get a small tingling. Tell me when you can feel the tingling. It's starting to tingle. So it's starting to tingle now. And so there, can you see fingers opening up? Okay, painful yeah, or not? That's fine. It's okay, so that was 21. And this is now running on a cycle. If we tap again, it'll come back up. So there we have our opening. We've got soft tissue shortening, and that's why we don't get a full opening. But we've got extension and stop and end. And then we come out. So we're happy with the positioning of here. So then, then now we'll put the Sabre Flex on and we'll go into a reciprocal EMG program. Okay, I'm just going to show you grasp and release without the e-stim. So we have the ball and give me a squeeze. Good, and then let go. Okay, and then so we're on a slow spring and then we get the slow springs coming up. I'm okay. showing you what the e-stim does with the Saberflex on. And then you can just see the fingers just moving a little bit inside the Saberflex. You can see the little finger moving a bit more. Okay, so that's 23 milliamps. Now on this session, what we've done is we've decided to set the thresholds to automatic. And we don't know whether that's right or wrong. And so, so give me a squeeze. Bit more, bit more. Good. And then you get the East Tim. So we'll go for it again. Right, big squeeze. Big squeeze, big squeeze, big squeeze. Good. And relax. And then you get the East Tim coming in. Okay, so you can hear it when it says work. That means then you've got a grass for the ball. And once you go over the threshold, okay, you then, so we'll go into again. Right, big squeeze. Good. Relax. Switch off. And then the East Tim kicks in. So here we are, so going for a reciprocal EMG trigger, we squeeze, go on, big squeeze. And then you see the stim. Good, next ball. Comes around, squeeze. I need the handle lower in the picture. <laughs> right here we go so we're on EMG come round squeeze good good and there's the stim okay